Now let's move on to more fun stuff where we will create a bucket and upload an image to S3. Okay. So let's log into AWS Management Console uh, and go to S3 homepage. Okay. I'm on the S3 homepage. The first is my account name. You will see your account name here. Then the next uh, placeholder is for the reason. Since S3 is a global service, it doesn't show any specific reason. It says global. Okay. Now I'm on this page to upload an image, but I don't see any option to upload uh, the image. Okay. You can see, right? I don't see any option to upload anything. Now here comes the interesting point, which is related to object storage concept. We talked earlier, since S3 is an object based storage service, we need to create a storage pool to store objects. This storage pool is called bucket in AWS. Okay. That being said, we first need to create a bucket to upload the image because currently there is no bucket listed in my account. Okay. So click on create bucket button. And now I'm in the create bucket page. I need to enter a bucket name here. Let's talk about bucket name. Bucket name must be unique within a partition. Let me click on this link to show you bucket naming rules. Okay. And here is the important point. Bucket names must be unique within a partition. A partition is the grouping of reasons. AWS currently has three partitions, AWS standard reasons and AWS China regions and AWS US Gov reasons. Okay. Let's come back to the create bucket page. Let me give a bucket name. Usually it's good technique to use domain name in bucket name, uh, which usually avoids possibility of a name collision. Okay. Next is AWS region. This is where your actual data will be stored. Select the region, which is nearest to your location to have a low latency and good performance. Okay. Your default region will be displayed here and you can change it. Okay. Right. I will keep it as it is, uh, as this is my nearest region. Okay. Next is about public access for this bucket. I will block all public access as this is my private bucket. I don't want the content of this bucket to be shared. If I was using this bucket to store my website contents, then I would have unchecked this box. Okay. Means I would have allowed public access. Next is bucket versioning. Disable option is fine. But if you have use case where you would want previous versions to be retained to recover from unintended user actions, then you would check the enable radio button. Okay. Next option is about whether you would want the content of this bucket uh, to be encrypted. Okay. For me, disable is fine. I don't want to encrypt content of this bucket as this bucket will have only images and encryption will have extra over it to impact performance. Okay. Next is advanced settings. This is about if you don't want objects to get deleted in the bucket. Disable option is fine. I don't have any regulatory compliance sort of data in this bucket, which I would like to be not deleted. Okay. So disable option is fine so that I can delete content of this bucket if I would like to. Okay. Click on create bucket. As you can see that bucket has been created. Okay. And if you select the bucket, you can see options to uh, delete the bucket or empty the bucket. Okay. You cannot delete a bucket if there is any object in the bucket. Okay. Click on the bucket. Now I am on the bucket page. Let me click on the upload button to upload an image, which I have. Okay. Now I'm on the upload page. Click on the add files button to upload files. And uh, this is the image I have. Okay. Now I will click on upload button. Upload is succeeded. Let me click on close button. Select the image on this page. Details about the image is displayed. For instance, size type key S3 URI, which is, which is a unique fully qualified domain name to access the image. For instance, if you are writing code to access the image from your Java or Python code, you will use this URI. Okay. Next is RN, which is used to manage permissions on the object. For instance, ARN can be used in IEM to set access permissions about this object. Then E tag, which is MD5 checksum of that file. E tag is used to find out if object has been modified. And this is object URL. If I click on this URL, image is not accessible because I have disabled public access on this bucket. Okay. However, if I click on the open button, I can see the uploaded image. Reason is that it is pre-signing the URL, right? I will talk about pre-signing in S3 in detail. Okay. So this is the AWS image, which I uploaded. Okay.